building backends can be a struggle, especially when you're on a time crunch. It's quite time consuming and quite annoying to code out components. Well, don't worry, because I just found a really cool backend builder that's powered by AI. Introducing BuildChip, an easy way for you to effortlessly create scalable APIs, schedule tasks, backend cloud functions, database crude, or even data triggered function. With BuildShip, you can enjoy a Zapier-like workflow builder, and this is with editable blocks that you can simply drag and drop to build your components. It's an AI-generated node system, which is gonna allow diverse integrations and one-click shipping for APIs. It also has backend jobs and so much more without needing DevOps, and it makes it a scalable backend solution. You can even create your own chatbots for platforms like Slack, WhatsApp, telegram or even discord and if an integration is actually missing you can use the ai to generate your own workflow nodes combining no code simplicity with low code flexibility in simple terms this is what cognition labs devon wishes to be because this is your personal ai software engineer now this is something that we're going to be showcasing throughout today's video so with that thought let's just dive straight into the video what I want you guys to do next is click on this white button over here and it'll take you to this page where you're going to be able to sign up with your Google account or with your GitHub account completely for free. After you signed up, you want to basically name your workspace name and select the region. You can then create your workspace and it'll then take you to the main dashboard. This is your drag and drop UI dashboard where you're going to be able to build your backend components. On this left hand panel, you'll be able to manage all your workspaces and you can create multiple over here. You can even configure it so that you can add different team members, get your secret key, add different integrations to Google Calendar, all the way to YouTube. You have your storage where you can upload your own knowledge base, export your APIs, as well as get a good uh, optimal like status on what is happening with your workspace. Now, heading back to our flow, you can create five different flows within one. You can add multiple flows and you can even select from a template. Built-Chip templates are pre-built workflow setups. They're basically designed to simplify the creation of various backend functions. These templates are going to allow you to quickly deploy scalable APIs, whether it is something that is scheduled tasks, backend cloud functions, database crude operations, or even chatbot platforms itself. Let's just take a look at one template. We're going to scroll through the list of different categories. There's AI, utility, assistance, integrations, all the way to web scrap. If you keep scrolling, you're going to be able to find so many different options that can cater to your needs. And this way, you can easily get started with a template that can help you out. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select a random one, maybe crawling a website. In this case, we can simply deploy this template into our workflow. We can paste in a random link such as our Patreon page. We can paste this in and what we can do is we can test this out. And within a couple seconds, you'll get a result. In this case, it was able to scrape the website with the crawler and it was able to automate the browsing and indexing of that website and this is something that was done within a couple of seconds this is something that was a template that i simply deployed but you can even customize this even further by adding your own nodes or even having ai automate your node creation and that basically leads me to showcasing the next feature of build ship which is building ai generated nodes and this is by simply Pasting in a couple of requirements. Now, there's actually two ways to create custom nodes in many ways. Now, before we even get to that, I want you to see how many integrations BuildShip has. There's so many different node types that you can integrate and they're continuously adding more and more. But say if there's not an integration that's there or you do not know what sort of integration should be best suited for your backend. In this case, this is where you can describe what you want the node to do and it's gonna be able to describe what sort of node should be placed for your backend. In this case, what you can do is you can utilize a simple guide that they have provided. This is where they have a very detailed documentation that showcases how you can get started. But what we're gonna be doing is showcasing a brief little overview of what you can do. What you need to do first is simply open up this magic wand. This is where it's on the top left corner of the menu. You just need to provide a prompt where you're gonna be able to give it a clear prompt describing the node what you want. For example, you might wanna specify the type of data or output or format you would need like a JSON format. 
Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. So what we're gonna be doing is giving a prompt for the magic node to basically generate our overall node for this particular use case. In this case, we're gonna be giving an image. What we're gonna be doing is detecting the text from it and the text is gonna be in plain format. Now, what we're gonna be doing is giving it a good description, which is where I need a node that can return a screenshot of a website from a given website URL. So what you can also do is provide API specs, but in this case, we're just gonna generate with AI. And in this couple of seconds, we're gonna be able to have that node generated. And this is where it's gonna be able to generate that node for us. And you can also go into the code and you can go to the node logic, you can change the inputs, outputs, and provide more information if needed. And before we can get forward to showcase our own creation of a backend, I want you guys to take a look at the build chip docs because they go in further in detail and showcase a lot of different tutorials on how to work with these different integrations. For example, they showcase how you can connect build chip with Bubble, with Flutterflow, and so many other options. This is something that I truly recommend, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. So what we're going to be doing now is creating our own backend workflow with the visual builder of BuildChip. What BuildChip is going to do is it's going to streamline this process of utilizing AI powered features to automate the conversation of phrases. This is where we're going to be providing it a Google sheet of different phrases, and we're going to be having it so that it could convert it into keywords and search for relevant icons. So it will be able to get a cake icon, for example, for this phrase, which states piece of cake. Now, the main reason why we're doing this is because we're showcasing a very, very basic example as to how you can quickly have different analysts visualize data with large amounts of data that could be interpreted in a Google Sheet very easily with the help of BuildChip. And this is why we're going to be showcasing this example. So let's get started. What we're going to be doing first is adding a trigger. This is where we're going to be adding a REST API call, but you can see that there's various triggers that you can add. So let's add a REST API call. And what we're gonna be doing is adding a path. So I specified the path with Google Sheets as well as the model that I'm gonna be utilizing. And now I'm gonna be placing in the Google Sheet node that is gonna be utilized to get the sheet itself. So we're gonna search up Google Sheet and we're gonna be clicking on the get sheets. This is where it's gonna be retrieving the sheet URL, which is over here. And we're gonna be pasting it in. What you want to do next is click on this authentication button and add your Google account. This way you can have access as well as make changes to your Google Sheets. What we're going to be doing next is pasting in a batch splitter. The reason why what we're going to be doing with this is so that it's going to be able to process all of these categories. Next, we're going to have a loop that is going to iteratively go through each of these categories so that it is going to make the changes that are needed for each batch size. Now we're gonna need a large language model node to help us process our query. So in this case, I'm gonna be utilizing Perplexity AI chat, and I'm gonna be changing the model to, old, to a Llama model, such as the Sonar large chat model. So I'm gonna specify my API key, give it a system prompt, as well as a user prompt. So I added a system prompt as well as my API key, and I added a sleep node. This is where every time it generates, it's gonna take two seconds afterwards to generate the next phrase. So in this case, I provided a system prompt where I said that you're going to be given a list and you're going to need to understand and try to break down each phrase bit by keywords. And you're going to need to source through different icons as well as different icons that are basically relevant to that phrase. So it's going to utilize NLP to process that query. I then went along and added array flattener. And this is where it's going to then send it back into my Google Sheet and paste it within over here. So we now have this fully set up with the return function. So we can actually now act, uh, test this out to see if it's functional. And we can also ship it as an endpoint. So we're first going to test this out. It's going to first go through the process of going through my sheet execution. And then it's going to split into batches, utilize NLP services, and it's going to be able to then give us a test. And after a couple of seconds, we were able to have all of these icons generated. For example, a phrase that states breaking the ice is going to generate an ice icon. And we can see that BuildChip was able to successfully build this backend component. You can even integrate this even forward where you can click on the code and configure it based off your own preference and see if there's something that needs editing before a code of a node. You can then have the AI generate 
a different component that you would want to describe to modify it and you can have AI generate that node further. That was something that I was able to automate within a couple of seconds. And this is what BuildChip enables you to do. You can utilize its visual builder to automate your backend fairly easily. And this was something that I did within three minutes, probably. Now, I'll leave a link to this in the description below so that you can get started with this right away. I highly recommend that you check this out because this is an easy way for you to fully build out your backend. This is your software AI engineer that can assist you in many ways. So I'll leave a link to whatever I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. A great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. Make sure you leave it a like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.